Hello students, today we will learn about the cloud computing. Cloud is something that is present at a remote location. Cloud can provide services over the network, that is, either on the public networks or on private networks, that is WAN or LAN. Cloud is defined as a set of hardware, network, storage, interfaces and services combined together to deliver different aspects of computing as a service over a network or internet. All you need is an adequately featured device that allows you to connect to the cloud. Applications such as email, web conferencing, customer relationship management, CRM, all run in cloud. Google Docs, Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox, Asus Cloud Storage, not an online backup, etc. Are some of the common examples of free or low-cost online storage for the users. Thus, as an individual user, most of us are already using cloud services. Let us take the example of Facebook. Most of you upload your photos, maintain albums, update status, etc. in real time. And these can be seen by your friends almost instantaneously. Do you still follow the traditional way of attaching photos in an email? and sending them to your friends? No, that is the power of a cloud. You do not need a local storage or operating device. Once you upload a photo, it stays there forever. It does not matter if you delete it from your camera or phone. It simply stays in the cloud. Cloud computing is made up of two words, cloud and computing. Cloud is a metaphor for internet. Hence, it means computing on the internet. Thus, cloud computing refers to manipulating, configuring and accessing the applications online. It offers online data storage, infrastructure and applications. Let us first talk about the characteristics of cloud computing. Cloud computing possesses the following characteristics. On-demand self-service. In cloud computing, multiple clients can share the resources and applications at the same time. These cloud services and resources can be used on demand and often bought on a subscription basis without human interaction with the service providers. To understand in a better way, you buy cloud services the same way as you buy telephone services or internet access from a utility company and pay for them as per the usage. Broad network access. Cloud computing simply means that the services can be accessed on the internet anytime and anywhere in the world through multiple devices such as mobile phones, tablets, laptops, etc. Resource pooling The resources like virtual server space, network connections, bandwidth, etc. are pooled by multiple users simultaneously from any location without being interfered by the other users. Rapid Elasticity Sometimes consumers require additional resources in a small period of time. In such a scenario, cloud computing is the solution as it is enabled with the elasticity feature. This allows consumers to transparently scale up, increase or scale down, decrease the resources according to their computing needs. Measured service. Cloud computing is based on a pay for what you use model where resource usage is monitored, measured and reported transparently based on utilization. Now let us learn about the types of cloud. There are four different types of cloud based on their ownership, size and access. These are Public Cloud A public cloud is provisioned for open use by the general public. It has no boundaries and the cloud infrastructure can be used by anyone, anywhere over the internet. Private Cloud A private cloud is owned and used by a single organization over a private network. It centralizes the resources of the organization so that they can be accessed easily by its various departments and offices at different locations. Hybrid Cloud a hybrid cloud is a combination of both private and public cloud. This type of cloud offers benefits of multiple deployment models such as a controlled environment in private clouds and rapid elasticity of public clouds. Community Cloud 
The community cloud is provision for use by a group of consumers from different organizations who share same concerns. Example, application, security requirements, policy and efficiency demands. It may be owned, managed and operated by one or more of the organizations in the community or a third party. Students, let me tell you about the advantages of cloud computing. Cost savings. With cloud computing based on paper use model, businesses or consumers can significantly lower the company's IT expenses and requirements. It also provides access to numerous storage facilities and applications which in turn save the consumer from spending a lot of money on the server setup and installation cost. Reliability. Cloud computing is much more reliable when it comes to data management, backup and recovery from failures. It provides you with redundant IT resources, automatic data backup, as well as quick failover mechanism. Unlimited free storage. Cloud provides unlimited free and secure storage space to store large amounts of information. Users can also choose amongst the public, private or hybrid cloud depending on their security needs. Accessibility. Cloud allows easy access to cloud-based services and applications through internet-enabled devices such as desktops, laptops, tablets or mobile phones. Now let me tell you about the disadvantages of cloud computing. Technical issues. Cloud may provide accessibility to services and applications anytime and from anywhere, but there are times when this system encounters serious technical problems which may lead to the entire business processes being temporarily suspended. Security Although cloud service providers implement the best security standards and encryption methods, but storing the company's sensitive data and important files on third-party cloud providers always opens up security risks. Vendor Lock-in Although cloud service providers assure that the cloud will be flexible to use and integrate, but switching from one cloud service to another is not so simple. It may lead to portability and support issues. It is the same like switching from one mobile service provider to another or like switching from Android to iOS in mobile phones. Limited control since the cloud infrastructure is entirely owned, managed and monitored by the service provider, the consumer has very little control over the application's data and services.